So I just finished making a video talking about the updates that have been happening on OS Rune. It was about Dagonoff Kings and it was about the new Slayer Cave area. And I was going back onto the OS Rune forums. I wasn't like playing OS Rune, like it was kind of like just minimized. Uh, I just minimized it, but that didn't do anything for you guys. So I feel kind of dumb there. But um, I was just going back onto the OS Rune forums and I saw that there was a new update like in a 10 minute span, like I made the video in like 15 minutes, then I was like checking out YouTube and commenting uh, and, and whatnot. It doesn't matter what I was doing, but came back and there was a new update. So I decided why not add this to the video because it was a video talking about the updates that have been coming out. Sorry, I'm excited. New update. Gotta be excited about a new update. But uh, here we go. Another update by EDU. Exio, where are you, man? Like you haven't been... Uh you haven't been posting about any updates. It's just been EDU. And when I asked EDU too, and in the clan chat, in the uh, the help clan chat, he just, he was like, oh, I don't know where he is. So I don't know. Uh, but the Cerberus boss has been added and I'm reading this for the first time. So bear with me. And I don't play OS Rune or not OS Rune. I do play OS Rune. I don't play old school RuneScape OSRS. So I don't know exactly what the Cerberus boss is, but um, let's check it out. So it requires 91 Slayer. To fight it, you must have either a Hellhound or a Cerberus Slayer task. You can find it, find its lair near the Hellhounds in Taverly Dungeon. It has a couple unique drops, the Primordial Crystal, which you can upgrade your Dragon Boots. Uh, and I guess it has a couple other crystals where you can upgrade your Infinity and your Ranger Boots to their uh, next level. I guess that's kind of like the Glacier Boot Drops, like Steadfast and things like that. It also has the Smoldering Stone, which I guess there's going to be more info on that below. Uh, Cerberus Lair, which can now be an instance for a duration of one hour, costing two million coins. Cerberus is not a simple boss. You will die if you don't know what you're doing, so you've been warned. Okay, that one. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm done. Yo, what the f Dude. goodness gracious i was like was i not prayer switching correctly like tell me in the comments below i have no idea <laughs> item girl whoa dude <laughs> what was that what was that no no i'm so done what no i'm done <laughs> i'm so <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? What are you doing? You lost your mind. So overall, I really like Cerberus. I think that it's going to be a difficult challenge to overcome. I already am starting to get it a lot more. However, if you do have any tips for Cerberus, feel free to comment them down below. I really like that they actually added Cerberus to the game. It's a boss that's actually difficult to fight, and it really feels like an achievement, at least for me personally, when I finally triumph it. And I have actually triumphed him. I have killed him a couple times, even though he has bested me many times. Now, let's talk about some of the updates I'd like to see. I would definitely like to see farming, dual arena, and fire capes. I've already talked about this many, many times, but I really think the core mechanics of the game, those things that people are going to log in and expect to be able to achieve, people are going to expect things like farming and all the other skills to actually be in the game. People are going to be expecting the ability to actually get a fire cape from Jad, and people are definitely going to be expecting to be able to gamble. Uh, so I definitely think EDU needs to work on that. I know he's getting into all these other updates like Cerberus and Zia Woodcrafting and, you know, Dagonoff Kings and all that kind of stuff, which is awesome. However, I really do think he needs to focus on the little things before he brings out more and more content. I decided to actually not include the Dagonoff Kings and the Stronghold Slayer update in this video because that was an eight minute long video. I wanted to keep it short. So to keep it short and sweet, Dagonoff Kings are now in the game and the Stronghold Slayer Cave are in the game and many other fixes came along with that. You can now do instance Dagonoff King rooms as well, KBD instance rooms, and many other bosses that you couldn't before. If you want to learn more, you can check the description down below and all the development blogs will be down there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new around here, I do all types of videos. That's about it, guys.